Daddy today. He's on my lap. He voluntarily got on my lap. I think he's worried. Things are changing and he doesn't know what's going on and he's worried. Oh, my little baby cakes. Yeah. Yes, I'd rather see him than me as well. Yeah. Can you hear him purring? You see yourself? <laughs> it was supposed to snow today, and um, whoops, careful now, baby. It's supposed to snow, and it did a little bit. But southwest of here, which is the direction I would be traveling, it was a little worse. So I thought, mmm, crapola. Well, I'm not punching a time clock, so I don't want to endanger myself and I'm not totally ready. I want to make sure that I still have to pack up my jewelry and crap and uh, kitchen wares and dry goods. I'm not ready really. So I changed the hotel reservation and oh, I don't know. Hopefully I can get my butt together. My brother said, you're telling everybody exactly when you're leaving there. I'm worried that people are going to come in and steal the copper pipes out of the house. I'm like, they could do that while you're sleeping. They could steal the air conditioner off the side of your house if they want to while you're sleeping. There are people around here that steal things in the middle of the day. So, I, you either have to be fortunate or unfortunate. I'm going to try to take my chance. Yeah, it's late. It's almost quarter to eleven in the morning. This is Wednesday, and I do have a joke up for you. And I'm going to be kind of busy. I ate up basically all the refrigerated prepared food, so... <laughs> I had pasta last night, which was good. And uh, just winging it. There's a few more things I wanted to do around here. I have a bunch of 78s and I was going to play some. And record them. But, I don't know. Chances are this place will be exactly as it was when I, when I come back. <laughs> you know, like when my brother and I get together. Oh, God. I don't, it's starting to hit me now. It's starting to hit me and make me kind of choke up a little bit. Like, ah, over there, hanging up. That snowball, where, where, this way, there. That snowball lamp, I have had since the 70s. But the, the guy I had for a boyfriend at the time had one, and I thought, oh, that is so cool. I want one. So I got one. So that's from 76? 1976. Yeah, most of the stuff, I there's the newest thing around here probably is a calendar on the wall. <laughs> yeah, you learn to use things until they fall apart, and then you patch them back together. That's what uh, cheap people do, frugal people. Uh, that's what people that are hoarders or children of hoarders or children of uh, depression era or children of the children of depression era. <laughs> that's what we do. That's what frugal people do. Farm people do that. You know, if you if the chair leg breaks, find something, fix it, put. Uh, a tin underneath one of the table legs so it stops wobbling instead of fixing the leg. You know, I mean, it just, there are things that you do. It makes sense. And I think a lot of people that were used to having everything since this lockdown baloney um, are learning. Some are learning. Not now people are just, a lot of people live the way they want to live anyway, which, well, anyway. Not going to get on the soapbox. But uh, some people are, are learning the ways of 
preservation of staying above water. And it, for others, it's not so easy. Some people are learning, and it's really tough. You can't be a coward and still persist. <sighs> Looking around here, I'm feeling like crawling back in a hole, but I have to keep going so I can go upward and onward.